Hi, Dr. Zine students. You're at the point now where you're beginning to mix your graphics and your text. And sometimes you want to blend them. You want to put the uh, title of your newsletter inside a graphic. Text boxes are the clear, easy way to do this. Um, but initially, you may be a little confused about how to get your, your text to stand out against the background of whatever graphic you're using. Um, it may be tempting to try to put your text box uh, with a background color that matches the background color uh, of whatever graphic you're using, but there's a simpler way, and that is to take off all the color. Now, the problem is that if you stick to your uh, at-hand uh, tools, for instance, if I go up here to the uh, uh, paragraph shading and, and try to mess around with that, uh, even if I put no color, it, it's not going to work. Um, so I want to be sure to go up to the text box tools and the format tab that appears right under that. And at that point, you come over here to the shape fill and you go down to no fill. All right. Now, once you've got your no fill on your text box um, and you've got your lettering reversed out, so that it's all in white, uh, you should be able to uh, make the background of the text box invisible. All right, but the problem is that in this case, uh, we have no fill applied, but we're still not getting the result we want. And that's because there's some other kind of, uh, uh, something's been put onto this text or text box with color that we're not able to take off. I uh, can't see immediately what's going on here. Um, all right. Now, as you can see, when I'm experimenting, I discover the problem. The problem is I've really got to have it in both places. I've got to take the color off here, and I've got to go back up to text box, format, shape fill, and make sure it's no fill there as well. Uh, once you do that, you will have a transparent text box and your letters will be reversed out. It'll look like it's, uh, it's all part of the same image. Okay, so let's try that again over here with this one. Um, the designer apparently used the paragraph cluster up here to put on some color. We need to take that off. That doesn't by itself get us where we want, so we have to go up to text box, format, shape fill, no fill, and there we are. Uh, we have transparent text boxes. Okay, that's the only thing I wanted to show you in this lesson. Hope it helps.